This is a clutch, typical what you see the racetrack today. It's got two discs, six levers, six springs, a steel sprocket supported by a needle bearing. The clutch was originally designed in 1977 and updated in 1995. In contrast, this is the Vortex clutch. It also has two discs, six levers, six springs, but the levers where they contact the plate have a roller and the springs instead of being connected to a pressure plate are, are connected to the lever. It gives you a very smooth engagement. What really is different in 2013 is that the sprocket is not connected with a needle bearing but instead a ball bearing. The ball bearing is a deep groove type which gives us a thrust load capacity. It's got a seal to exclude dirt and retain grease. The ball bearing is important because when the clutch is used employs a needle bearing it is free to translate because it has very little thrust capacity and two it will rock even after the clutch locks up it will rock back and forth it will wobble what that does is waste quite a bit of energy and that wobble again it occurs even after the clutch is locked up that wobble accelerates wear between the tang on the clutch disc and the slot in the drum the ball bearing, in contrast, has no free play in the axial direction because it's a deep groove type, and it's also a more precise bearing, does not have that wobble. So we can eliminate much wear and tear, save the cart race for some money, and we have a little bit more energy available for acceleration.